This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303 from LearTesters.com and today we got a quick detailed look and review of these guys right here. This is the recently released Nike LeBron 14, one of my personal most anticipated releases of the year. I've been very curious to know how these zoom units feel underfoot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So as usual, we're just going to take a quick look at the traction and go over my overall thoughts. The pattern itself looks to be somewhat of a digi camo and then if you look closely or at least just like kind of brush your hand across it, you can feel little tiny nubs here and there. It's not anything Thing crazy but you know it, it, that's just what the pattern itself is I do not think that this pattern is gonna work well I could be surprised I'm hope that I'm surprised while I play in them but you know like I said in previous videos Nike's track record with clear outsoles like this clear rubber is usually just not good so I have a feeling that what traction will grip to the floor whether this rubber is good or not you know what I mean like if it's solid or clear it's going to be affected negatively pretty quickly by dust because there's so little of it and there's all these little pockets for the dust to get trapped in. Clean floors, I'm sure that it'll work well just like most other traction surfaces, but I think that this is probably going to be the one downfall of the shoe. Like I said, I'm hope, I hope that I'm wrong because I don't like it when I play in shoes that are like skates, but that's just the first impression that I get when I look at this right here. The cushion, however, the cushion feels great. Like I, this is just from a try on and I was worried that it was going to feel a little bit kind of like restricted because it's encased in this rubber, but it feels really nice underfoot and that was just from trying them on. So I can only imagine how much more comfortable they are while you actually are in motion. So what we have is a lightweight phylon midsole and I love the splatter paint that's on there if we're just talking about aesthetics for a quick second. And then underneath the midsole are bottom loaded large volume zoom units. I believe these are all about 14 millimeters thick which is very large like that we're talking they're they're super thick units almost KD9 like but they're encased and segmented. And so you have three hex zoom units and then that just giant large volume one right there in the heel. Again they felt really good if anybody's wondering what this one's for right here in the arch and like why it's there it's just for transition it's very similar to what Jordan brand did by adding the tendril uh, at the midfoot section between the 28 and the 29 it's so that bigger players when they start to step and transition from heel to forefoot they don't buckle that area it probably wouldn't affect anybody my size but for those of you that are larger which is what LeBron is you know it, it could have a negative impact yes they could have just put a foam pillar there instead like what they have here at the, the forefoot but there's nothing wrong with putting a zoom unit in my opinion especially with how expensive they are. That's almost like complaining why they have full length zoom in the first place. It's like, dude, who cares? It's full length. That's awesome. You know what I mean? So just having more zoom there, I'm not going to complain whatsoever. And then the forefoot is just lightweight phylon and it's for toe offs and quick transition steps, court feel basically. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now the material on these guys is the same exact stuff that they used on the LeBron Soldier 10 as well as the LeBron 13 low. So you have a foam shell that's perforated with mesh glued on top of that. I personally like the materials because they're very soft, but they also contain pretty well but any instability that you would have upon lateral movements because it's just a, a foam upper they've actually placed in strategic areas some fuse panels this toe rand right here is made out of suede and then it's for toe drags so it's going to protect that material and it's for aesthetics I actually really like the way that that looks it gives it not a premium vibe but it makes it kind of look like an old school sneaker like I like overlays and things like that like the Jordan 3 and that's what that is and I, I just enjoy it it is a one-piece booty upper and there's no stretch really to the collar so it is a pain in the ass to get your foot in there but once you are in they are secure and good to go I'm not gonna do an on foot right now because I'm just not in my normal environment this is one of the last videos that you'll see with this background in this room because I'm gonna make my official full move into the new place pretty soon so um, congrats to me you know what I mean but uh, sorry to you guys that are expecting it on foot I'll, I'll put these on foot for the performance review but they do fit true to size you will be able to go down half a size if you want a secure one-to-one -one fit because this is a one-piece very flimsy foam so if you don't want to risk any instability go down half a size otherwise going true to size should work out for you and then you have the lockdown strap right there and I think that that is going to work really well it felt great when I tried it on so hopefully it's going to do its job well which is basically locking down the midfoot and then locking in the heel down into the heel area of the shoe so that's going to be for support there is an internal heel counter also for anybody wondering it's not a completely flimsy upper that's mostly that front section which is good you want structure in the back and some free flowing materials up front so that you can move and flex in the shoe and that's pretty much it it came with this little keychain if anybody cares it also has the traction pattern on it which I just I don't really quite get why they keep doing weird tractions like this because some of 
other attractions are a huge hit and then the ones that are typically like this are a huge miss so why you keep you know batting for misses I don't know but you know that's not my deal I guess I didn't design the shoot but anyways that pretty much takes care of it these guys were released in pretty limited numbers surprisingly although it's not surprising because the 13 was kind of a flop sales wise so the retailers are only kind of getting a few pairs in each size because they know that you know the last version didn't sell well so they're not trying to spend all of their money and uh, stock on something that's gonna sit so if you guys grabbed a pair congratulations if not you know wait for the next release they are gonna be releasing in more colorways and stuff like that so just be patient and that's pretty much it did you grab a pair of the LeBron 14s today if you did let me know how what you think about them down below in the comments section let me know how they fit you if you played in them already surprisingly this is this one day one then feel free to give us your performance thoughts my performance review will be coming in the coming weeks so thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support and until next time guys